Hello, and thank you all for attending the 2024 Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Expo. I extend my gratitude to EESI for putting this expo together every year. Additionally, I thank my co-chair, Senator Reed, as well as our deputy co-chairs, Senator Collins and Senator Van Hollen, for their collaboration on the caucus's important issues. The REEE caucus and the EESI provide valuable opportunities to share ideas across the aisle and find bipartisan support for different clean energy objectives. Our country has seen unprecedented growth in the renewable energy sector. This growth has contributed to our national energy supply and security. I'm particularly proud to represent Idaho, where roughly 80% of our electricity comes from clean energy sources, 60% from hydropower and 20% from renewables. Idaho is also a national leader in the development of new clean energy technology, thanks to numerous research initiatives and public-private partnerships at the Idaho National Laboratory. The INL is making continuous breakthroughs in clean energy technologies in fields such as biomass fuels and nuclear fuel and power generation. Here in the Senate, we have made significant legislative breakthroughs supporting these efforts over the past few years as well. Last year, I joined several of my Senate colleagues in introducing the Advance Act in the U.S. Senate. And in June of this year, the Senate passed the bulk of the Advance Act by a vote of 88 to 2. With the passage of the Advance Act, it is clear that Congress and Americans across the country are acknowledging the important role that nuclear energy will play, and it will continue to play this role in our nation's future, and the need to continue developing and improving these technologies. If signed into law, this legislation would further the modernization of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission licensing process, the facilitation of American nuclear leadership, and investments in advanced nuclear technologies. I look forward to continued work on the REEE caucus to further good bipartisan legislation that benefits all Americans, both rural and urban. The answers to our energy security needs can be found here with input from valuable members of the energy industry from across the political spectrum. Again, thank you for coming to today's expo and lending your time and experience to these discussions. I look forward to working with all of you in the future.